So we're here for another kind of watch review, would you call it? Or a history? A bit of a history lesson? A history lesson? History lesson. Aye, let's, call, let's call it that. the Brosnan era Omega Seamaster 300 quarts. Indeed. And Two, we are... 2541800, so the only number I'll remember. Only because I've just looked it up. Dot double oh seven. No? No, because actually this was this is this was in the naive days of Omega where they hadn't quite realised how to flesh out a bit of sponsorship. Ah, okay. Well, we are joined again with Dave Sharp, Floatlight, and he's brought with him some pieces. This one here is pretty infamous as being probably your first luxury piece, the thing that got you into the hobby. Yeah, I think this is. Yeah, I think I would definitely categorise it as that. That's my first, I suppose. Um, how would I describe it? Probably first of the you know the Swiss brand kind of uh, big name inverted commas luxury watches mm -hmm. um which i got um i still have it to this day um which kind of proves the point that i don't actually flip watches i get rid of them i just uh, acquire more and more um this watch though actually probably of all my watches in terms of uh mechanical watches or or swiss watches because obviously this is quartz so it's not technically mechanical um is the one that had a lot of use i did literally wear this as a daily wearer for Years, years and years before I actually probably got further into. Did you clean it watches. before you brought it here? Uh, no. no well, okay. I, well, did I clean it? I mostly do, of course. I cleaned it. I cleaned okay. it every time I touch it or pick it up. I mean, I'm looking at you touching I'll it. Put my Germans right down here. Thinking that I'm going <laughs> to have to clean it again. No, I always do uh, I clean my watches. I look after them. That's. I said one, one proper service, so to speak, where they did a little bit of a. Uh, light kind of uh, polishing on it because it had a tough life. There's a, still a few marks in it, I think, and actually there probably was a mark up in the... There's a couple of marks in the bezel because it's an aluminium bezel, so there's a couple of marks in it and there's uh -huh. a couple of little knocks and bumps on it, but um, yeah, I tend to look after things pretty well, so I didn't have any big noticeable gouges or anything daft in it. Good. So that what way. is the history of this watch then? Why is it people love it so much? Do you know, I suppose I... <sighs> I, in some ways, I was kind of just oblivious to the fact that it's got a bit of a cult following behind it until reasonably recently. Um, you know, to me, it was just, you know, I got it and it was the, you know, I suppose to some degree there was that tie up with Bond, which had some attraction to me. But, you know, I just liked the, the watch. It's a cool looking piece as far as I was concerned. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I'm trying, you know, I get the quartz one. I'm trying to remember why. I suppose in those days when I got it, the difference between quartz and mechanical didn't really overly mean much to me. It wasn't a case of, oh, you know, oh, I must get mechanical because it's better than quartz. It was Would it have been more probably, a case of it's more modern, done. more accurate. You don't have to mess around with it. It's probably more down to price, to be brutally honest with you. You know, right. I think they, I think I was probably looking at it in a case of they were both identical and one was. Um, a bit cheaper than the other one so you know i think that's probably realistically it's a long time ago now i think it was 95 so we're talking what's that 24, 24. years ago yeah. you know so i struggle half the time to remember what i did yesterday never mind 24 years ago and mm -hmm. what my rationale at the time was but i do remember thinking really like the look of it and it was you know obviously it's, it's a pretty tough piece i think uh, if anything it shows the, uh, it shows the uh, never seen that in a watch video watch. before have you oh, that's pretty good it's pretty Again, cool we'll look into my eyes Right, okay, what You're you feeling want? sleepy. Yeah, very sleepy. <laughs> sleepy. Why is my zip coming down? <laughs> <laughs> that was your wallet I was trying to get. Is that where you keep it? Sorry, back, back. On back, the back, farm. With it. back with the reward, sorry. Yeah. Well, snap your fingers. You're back with us. Back with you. Weak. Feeling, not quite feeling normal at the moment. No. No. Mm. No. Rufy Colada? <laughs> Rufy Colada. <laughs> anyway, this watch. Yes, this watch. What mm -hmm. about it? So you got it ninety five. Yeah, I, I got it. I remember it as I, I can I can remember actually where I got it. It was it was in Glasgow and it was um it was in it was mapping and web and when they had the shop that was just funnily enough I think it was almost literally where they're about to reopen the new Omega boutique. Oh. It was on the same side as uh, Fraser House of Fraser, mm -hmm. and it was up just after the end of House of Fraser. So it's probably give or take where that uh, Omega boutique's about to open up. Yeah. And they had the store there. Sapphire um, glass? Yeah. Should have asked that before I spun it around, but okay. Well, it'll, it'll have a nice spirograph on it. Yeah. Now, so it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> Kaleidoscope. Um, yeah, and I um, I was in jury duty at that point in time. And I I think it was about a week long or so. And I was I, I wandered up. Um, I lived in the West End of Glasgow at that point, And I was just Did he go down for a long time? 
it definitely was a murder. So mm-hmm. well, it was Glasgow, sure. wasn't it? Was, it? Of course, it was. I yeah. Um, did he go down? At true a point, I've no idea. I can't remember. I wasn't. I don't think I was. I was at that age where I wasn't overtly particularly focused. It just seemed like a good reason not to be doing anything else. And uh, I was walking up towards West End, and I po- passed the, this window, and they had the big kind of uh, cardboard cutouts of uh, Brosnan in the window. And uh, I just kept looking at these watches and looking at these watches. And then one day I just thought, oh, yeah, do you know what? For one of a better phrase, I just thought, fuck it. And I went in and I came out with this. And um, You yeah. thought bleep it? Bleep it, yeah. Oh, that's right. Bleep it. Sorry, that was the word we're looking for. Bleep it. Bleep it. Um, and I know you're I've, more I've, like I've, it. I've, I've still got it. And yeah, as, as you were saying, you know, I just I just wore it. I literally wore it for years. It's It's been caked in mud. It's been... On my bike when I was racing bikes, it's, it's kind of done a bit of everything to be honest with you. It's, did it ever go rally driving with you? A li- yeah, a little. I, I did. Uh, that was my go-to. You know, in the same ways nowadays, I strap an Apple Watch on every day without fail and mm-hmm. something else on the other wrist. That was the watch that I literally put on. This was a watch that. Uh, this is before I went to start wearing my, my kind of mechanical watches or, or or my nice watches, if you want to put it that way, on my my wrong wrist. This one I did wear on the right wrist. You know, well, the left wrist, left mm-hmm. right wrist, whatever. The right wrist that you're meant to wear your watch on. Um, and really because of the, you know, it's got a reasonably sharp kind of crown area. Mm-hmm. This was the one that always used to dig into my wrist. And I ended up kind of like a little scar and I cut my wrist quite often, which is why I ended up swapping it to the other wrist. Mm-hmm. So this was the one that did the damage that means that folks still ask me to this day, why why do you wear your uh, watch in the wrong wrist? Because of this because watch. Because of this course. one. And um, yeah, I still got it. And as I say, I love it to bits. Actually, it's a great piece. Uh, it, it sat for a while. I think at one point it ran out of battery and I dug it out and I was like, oh, I better get a battery put in that. I think it's a, I think it's only ever two batteries in its life. The question is how long it sat at one point with, with, with a dead battery in it, which is never a good idea. And acid leaking everywhere. Yeah, but I didn't know, you know, and it was it was absolutely fine and it had a service and it was back to life and it's had one other battery since then, which it went to the little jump in two seconds. But one thing you do notice quite about it is as, as much as it's it's not really patinaed in any significant way, but you do notice on the little tip of the second hand, mm-hmm. it's kind of definitely a peachy pink colour now. Saw that. And yeah. I'm sure from the pictures it was red. I'm pretty mm-hmm. sure it was red. Um, from the original pictures it certainly wasn't that color and i think that's that's about the only bit the loom still works pretty well you know it looms up quite nicely but actually even the aluminium bezel um, hasn't particularly um faded or anything it's although in saying that you know it's maybe faded evenly i suppose i don't yeah. know what it would be like if you looked at it um against yeah. a, an original one and how often do you wear it i hadn't worn it for ages actually and then i think i'm trying to think who it was somebody I found it and I put it on and I noticed that the seconds was jumping two hands and I thought I better get a battery in that and I mm-hmm. dropped it off to get a battery in it and um, we'll pop it on the wrist let's see what it's like yeah actually I better take my other watch off than here um, I I put it on and I was wearing it and then somebody clocked it and uh, then there was a kind of conversation of oh is that the quartz one and then that's when I think I suppose I discovered that folk were like oh it's a quartz one it's original and we're going for the uh, insert of fist mm-hmm you tell me when to stop. You want to just... Oh, oh, moving it around. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Mm. Mm. Good. Some uncomf- that's, 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 a, that's, that's a, a bit of prime a... position. Thanks for that. Yeah, no I'm problem at all. back here. You know, manual handling and all that. Yeah. No, no I, I do. I've, I've been wearing it a bit more recently because I actually do enjoy it. You can actually see where down... I don't know if you'll see it in the camera. If that's too close. But all around the bezel here, it's kind of marked and stuff. Uh-huh. And there's definitely be scratching it because every time I wear it, I see it and it really annoys me. There it is. It's down there. Down between five and six o'clock with a little scratch in the bezel but that's just life isn't it you know there's yeah. nothing i can do about that just no, the way it is. Yeah. and a lot of people are now trying to find these uh, so, so i believe yeah mm. there's quite a lot of folks seem to be kind of hunting for especially the the quartz one they seem to be hunting for the quartz one yeah um i have had a few messages saying oh would you sell it and it's like no nah, this is a, i'm just not interested you know it's just it's mine and i love it to be honest it's a great piece you know i know that um uh, ben Hodges actually he likes this he's, this is one of his watches I believe that he's quite keen on I like that you're manual handling me mm-hmm. oh there we go I'm getting old very nice um, yeah original wavy dial and obviously um, I suppose a bit of interest reignited probably when they brought the the newer wavy dials out I think it was yeah. a couple of years ago now they brought them back out didn't they mm-hmm. which was a much more pronounced um, wavy dial this is actually quite subtle yeah, give it a wrist roll there we go how does that look not too bad. 
Well, thanks very much. So how much did you pay for this when it was new? Can you remember? I'm pretty sure it was round about 1,100, give uh -huh. or take. 1,075 rings a bell. Um, I do. I, I did actually find the box for this. Um, now, you know, in the last good few years, um, when I've, I've got boxes, I've kind of, you know, kept them in a sealed container and looked after them and put a little kind of, um, you know, these little... Uh, Silicon bags. bags. Silicon bags in them to look yeah. after them and stuff. But this did come in that infamous um, Omega little red box. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the uh, the kind of red patent faux leather boxes that were yeah. notorious that they've even got half right. damp. Pop off now. Popping off. It's there we go. Cutting off your blood circulation. Is. <sighs> My leg's gone again. There we go. Stick that back in. Give or take. What you mess about with it. Such You're more artistic than I am. Well, I can see the monitor. Oh, very fair enough. Um, I yeah, I found the box. It was actually I was up in my attic digging about looking for something else, and I was just mm -hmm. hunting through an assortment of cardboard boxes of, you know, the kind of when you've moved house and you've stuck stuff in a box and it never gets unpacked and it gets thrown up into the attic. Yeah. And I suddenly I found it and it was looking a little bit worse for wear, but actually inside it, it had the the links from when it had been resized, and it still had the receipts and all the paperwork and the cards and all these bits and bobs. So it, I actually have got all the original parts for it, albeit the red box is a little bit um, worse for wear. Hmm. Yeah, it's a cool piece. It's just it's 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 my one little nod back to when I didn't really, I suppose, understand what watches could or couldn't be or anything else. It was just you know, I liked it. I still like it to this day. Um, it's a great piece. It's served the test of time. You know, there's a it's twenty four years old, give or take, and you know, it's a literally Sounds zero. Like my Tinder dates. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> It literally has a kind of almost zero intervention other than a couple of batteries to be honest. So Fantastic. yeah, it's a cool piece. Well thank you very much for bringing this piece along. No worries. Be sure to check out our other videos on the channel. Also check out our website, scotchwatches.co.uk. Our Instagram, which is at Scottish Watches, and our twice weekly podcast. So thanks a lot Dave, and uh, we will catch you in another video quite soon. No worries, take care.